Out of patience and time, Vince finally does the one thing he had hoped to avoid, calling his father. These orders are jeopardizing my investment. We have millions of dollars invested in this project, and we're going to turn this place around with or without them. It's, it's upsetting, you know, the secrets that come out after you purchase a property like this. When Vince, the property manager at this apartment complex, uncovered three extreme hoarders residing in his building, he did everything he could to get them to clean up their units, but with no success. Now, his father, the building's owner, is coming in to take care of business. Vincent has tried to do what he can to work with these people, but unfortunately, there hasn't been any progress made, so I'm here today to get things on the right track. I want a list of their names. I want their apartment numbers. I will personally go to these gonna people. You're going to go there yourself? I am here today. This is their one chance only to cooperate with me and get these places cleaned up, or they will be no longer residing on these premises. He just walked out like a big shot, you know, just say he's going to go over there hollering, screaming, and get it all done in one day. One day? <laughs> yeah, right. That's a joke. But it's no joke for Sandy, Dorothy, or Fred, who nervously await an inspection from the building's owner. I'm a little bit nervous. He's going to probably be upset. But um, I'll just have to wait and see. I think this is my last chance. I could be evicted. Management, come on in. This is totally unacceptable. This, this is this is beyond my belief. I understand. When Ben was talking to me, I was kind of humiliated and embarrassed. You don't want to admit that it was that bad. Let's take a look and see what we got to deal with here. Oh my God! How long has it been like this? 10, 12 years. Uh, it's, it's just unbelievable. Look. I, I, I couldn't handle it. I don't remember the gas chamber in the army being as bad as the smell that I experienced when I came in his house. And then when I went to the bathroom, I couldn't handle it all. No human being can live like this. We've got millions of dollars invested in turning this place around. And now this right here is screwing everything up. I, I'm not here to belittle you. I'm not here to hurt your feelings. I, I heard you're a very nice person. You're a hardworking man. But you can't live like this. I'm here today to help you. My own sons can't handle this. And I've trained them very well. They can't handle this. So I'm going to try to work with you. But you got to work with me. If you don't work with me, you got to go. I can understand why my son asked me to come down here and, and help him with the situation. I've heard about it, but I've never directly encountered what I saw and felt and smelt. Unbelievable. 